Knitting techniques with yarn in back. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your knitting right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five knit tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles, and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com. In the color, taupe. Now sometimes in your pattern you will come across an abbreviation that says W-Y-I-B, and this stands for with yarn in back. Now this most often is going to be encountered when you are slipping a stitch and they want you to keep the yarn behind the work. Okay, So you would slip, you'd have the yarn in back and then you continue working the pattern as normal. So all the pattern means when it says yarn in back is to keep the yarn behind the work. Now um, sometimes you may have the yarn in front of your work and you need to move it to the back. That's the other situation where the with yarn in back would become uh, useful, right? So you're maybe purling something and then the pattern will say with yarn in back and then you'll do something else in the pattern. So that's what WYIB stands for with yarn in back. Hey! I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!